For the most part, students using JASP have no difficulty downloading, installing it, and getting it to run on their computer. However, there are some little one-off problems that may occur, and I want to quickly address two troubleshooting tips that might help you if you've initially had trouble getting JASP to work on your system. Now, the first one has to do with having an older operating system. All of the JASP software is designed to work on the newest Mac or PC software. And if you have an older version of that software, it's possible that some of the newer versions of JASP won't work. Let me show you what your options are. I'm gonna to go to the JASP website and then we'll take a look at those options. So here we are on the JASP website and at the top you'll see the option for downloads. Click on that. And the first option that you have is this right here which is the Launch JASP Online using the Roll App application. In this technique, you can actually create an account, log in, and you can run JASP directly out of your browser. So as a last resort, if you weren't able to get the system to work, you do have this as an option. Let me show you what you can do if you have an older operating system. So here I am on the JASP download page. We're going to scroll to the bottom where we are going to find, want to go back, you can download many of JASP's previous versions. And here we can find versions from slightly older systems all the way back to version 8 or version 7. So you can go back quite a ways. Here's the thing, these or the appearance of JASP in these earlier versions is not going to look the same as it does in the later versions. It's constantly being improved. Therefore, if you get an earlier version, you're going to take a little more time to kind of work your way through the, uh, the steps for finding things. It is still going to look familiar. But whereas I might tell you to twirl open a certain pane and click on a certain box, that might not be as readily available. The functionality is still going to be there, but it might be located in a different place. Honestly, the location is probably going to be even more obvious. The reason for all these additional panes that have to be twirled open is because there's new uh, functionality being added. Uh, in the earlier versions, it's all just there on one pane. Downloading an earlier version might also help you then if you have that earlier operating system. Now let me show you one more troubleshooting technique and this is specific to Macintosh. On my desktop you can see this dogtoys.csv dataset. I'm going to click to select that and then use command I to open up this information window. So I can see general information about dog toys, but I'm specifically interested in how the CSV gets opened. On your Macintosh, especially if it's new, it's quite possible that by default it will open a CSV or other files like this using numbers. So here's what you do. You click on these arrows and you change your default to Microsoft Excel. And then, before you close this window, click on Change All. That means that any CSV will be opened with Microsoft Excel, and that should solve any problems that you're having with uh, the data sets saving in a version that's not able to be opened by JASP. I'm going to close that, and that's how we fix that problem. So hopefully these troubleshooting ideas will help you along if you're having any trouble getting JASP installed, but hopefully JASP will be a fun and easy program for you to use. All right, I'm going to see you guys in class.